So I have milk chocolate. Just pour this in a bowl. Hello, my name is Julian Rose, Master Chocolatier at Moonstruck Chocolate, and I'm going to take you today on a visit of the world of chocolate. We're going to start here uh, in my test kitchen. My job is basically to play with chocolate, taste chocolate all day, and just create the seasonal wonders you see every day. All of these wonderful truffles started out as a piece of paper. This is one of the many recipes I created for Moonstruck. Of course, I'm not alone. I, we have dozens of chocolatiers helping me every day create these wonderful pieces. So I'll take you on a tour out of our small factory and I'll introduce you to some of our chocolatiers. Let's go. Welcome to Moonstruck's kitchen. This is where it all starts. In this kitchen, we take the recipe we created in my test kitchen and bring them to life. That involves, of course, scaling ingredients such as cream, butter, chocolate. Cooking them down, sometimes in a large open copper kettle like this one. So where we bring the liquids to a boil, pour them over our chocolate and carefully mix to create an emulsion. And this emulsion will be called the ganache. The ganache is really part of every single truffle. Once we've created the ganache, we need to frame it, pour it in a frame or in a tube, and then let it rest for 24 hours in a refrigerator. So once we've made those large-scale batches of ganache, we simply mold them into a tube shape and slide this tube of ganache into our extruder right here. And this is simply a machine that sizes even parts of ganache for us to be balling into truffles or some of our critters. Here we are 24 hours later where our ganache, our ganache has firmed up. It's been, it has sat overnight and these pieces of ganache will become the next critters. So we're most famously known for our hand shaping and handmade critters. So here we have a crew of artisans that are patiently shaping, in this case, cows and truffles with almond ears, peanut, peanut nose, and all kinds of small additions that will make the critters so beautiful. So once we've shaped these beautiful ganaches into cats, dogs, and mouses, now the trick is to seal in this ganache with a wonderful chocolate shell. In this case, we dip the cats in a vat of white chocolate, one by one, and just lay them down on a tray for them to set completely. And some of our truffles are dipped by hand, such as most of the critters, and some of these round truffles are perfectly adapted for enrobing, which gives us a perfect coating of chocolate every time. This small army of crabs are ready for a dark chocolate shower. This is where we lay each piece on a conveyor and they go through two curtains of molten chocolate and the crabs end up being completely covered and sealed in a dark chocolate shell. So this is the next step where we're gonna do all our hand decoration on our critters. Everything is decorated by hand, eyes, details, and this really gives character to each one of these single truffles. The hand decoration is really something that we take a lot of pride into doing, and it's all about artist expression. Each one of them will be slightly different, but that's what makes these chocolates so wonderful. So this is where we're close to the final steps of creating our signature Moonstruck chocolate box. All of these chocolates will be packed by hand, they were hand decorated. We just sealed them in to a beautiful box and put a signature sticker. And we've sealed the deal. Thank you very much for joining me here at Moonstruck. I hope you've learned a lot and you've seen how much care it takes to create those beautiful truffles. And I wish you bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs>